What's up, dudes? Today we have the Aoster S7B fat tire electric bike. It has a 13 amp hour battery pack. This bike only costs about $1,000 while it's on sale. Aoster sent me this bike over to review. So in today's video, we're gonna open it up and check it out, see what it's all about. Do a range test, acceleration test, hill test, all that stuff. So let's crack it open and see what it's all about. And boom, there's what it looks like when you get out of the box. Pretty typical fat tires with knobby tread. Power brings joy. Externally mounted battery pack. Also comes with a rear rack, which is actually pretty decent looking. You could choose to add this to the bike if you want, but if you wanna keep the weight down, you can keep it off. Which speaking of weight, this bike does have a 13 amp hour, 48 volt battery pack, which should be lighter than bigger battery packs. We'll get it on the scale here in a moment. Another unique feature on this bike compared to other fat tire e-bikes I've reviewed is these uh, plastic fenders look a little different. Let's check out the charger. As expected, a two amp charger. I got the keys. Let's check out this battery. It's listed as a Clouds Power 48 volt, 12.5 amp hour, 600 watt hours of energy. One benefit of an externally mounted battery is you'd be more likely to find a different one you could throw on there if you want. If you wanted to replace the battery, you just basically find one that plugs into uh, one of these trays. As long as it can fit there in the frame, 48 volts, you can run it. But one of the benefits of a smaller battery is it will weigh less than a larger battery. So this one actually only weighs eight pounds and seven ounces. Should help keep the weight of the bike down. We'll get it on the charger here while I build the bike. Charging. Handlebars on, just like that. Speaking of handlebars, there is a twist throttle here on the right. Shimano, seven speed shifter. Shimano gears, tourney derailleur. It's got the little protector thing on there already. In case you knock the bike over, it won't mess up your gears. Big wide saddle, should be comfy. And speaking of comfy, any of the shock that these big tires won't take out of the drivetrain, you got a little bit of a zoom suspension. Pretty typical zoom front fork with suspension that we see on a lot of fat tire e-bikes that cost more than the Aoster motor. It's got a pretty basic adjustment here with clicks and you can lock out the front suspension if you'd like. Rubber hand grips are okay. We gotta check out those brakes in a moment. Let's check out the controller. 48 volt, current is 25 amps, plus or minus one. So what's the max power of this controller? Hey Siri, what's 48 times 25? 1,200 would be the max uh, wattage of this controller. Pretty decent. So quick lesson on e-bikes. Uh, a lot of times you see these bikes advertised as a 750 watt hub motor. Then it's got a battery pack on there. So it doesn't really matter what size the motor is if the controller can't actually feed the uh, motor that power. It's a good sign to see that the controller on this actually is capable of pulling 1,200 watts from that battery and sending it to the rear hub motor. Front tire on. Taking a look at the brakes, they are Repute mechanical disc brakes. 180 millimeter rotor. Probably not the strongest brakes I've seen on a fat tire e-bike, but at this price point, I wouldn't expect hydraulic disc brakes. Same Repute mechanical disc brakes on the back with a smaller 160 millimeter rotor on the rear. Kickstand does have an adjustable length. Just rotate that uh, screw right there to adjust the length. That way, when you get the bike flipped over, it can sit exactly right. The brake levers seem decent. So here's the deal. On the rear of the bike, it has this little uh, protector here. You know, to protect you from like water or dirt or whatever. It's a little bit flimsy. I don't love it. I'm gonna take it off. Because they give you this rear rack and this will also protect you from the same thing. Power brings joy. Hey, another benefit of a smaller battery pack. Green light is already green, meaning this battery is already charged. So smaller battery pack means shorter charge times. Now it wasn't completely dead, but that thing was only on the charger for like an hour to get full. And for the record, this uh, rack will add two pounds and five ounces to your bike. So if you wanna keep the weight down, don't even bother with the rack. The rear rack, it's sturdy. And up here on the front wheel, I'm also going to forego this little piece it just doesn't rain much where I live and I don't see the need for this, but it's nice that it is an option. The bike does come with a rear reflector. Let's get that battery on here. There we go. So I weigh 202.2. I'm gonna pick this bike up and weigh it, see what it weighs. 68.2. So about a 66 pound fat tire e-bike 
Not bad. So one of the benefits of that smaller battery pack is weight savings. Typically fat tire e-bikes definitely weigh more than 66 pounds. Battery on. Power this thing up. So here's the dash, full battery. Let's get out for a ride. Power brings joy. They're not wrong. Oh, by the way, while we're uh, looking at motor performance, this is a truck run. 750 watt hub motor. All right, let's get this thing out for a ride. Here's what the headlight looks like. Decently bright. So let's jump right into the riding portion of the Aoster motor test ride here. 20% uh, grade, very steep uphill, pedal assist five throttle only. Let's see how the torque does on this bike from a stop. Uh, I'd say about medium. So it's actually going up this hill under its own um, throttle only, and I'm not helping it at all. So pretty decent torque on this bike. I've actually reviewed a lot of e-bikes on this channel that are not able to climb this hill under throttle only. So two thumbs up on that. So we'll get out here for a little test ride and then we'll modify the top speed here and see what this thing can do on the top end. So I always like these bikes that have the display that shows you your wattage. Um, if I open it up wide open, you'll see it displays all the power. It does output a thousand watts, over a thousand watts. So we'll, let's test out what the acceleration is like, zero to whatever it can do. We are on a full charge. I'll open it up, wide open throttle, pedal assist five. I weigh 200 pounds just about here. Ready, go. Uh, instant response from the twist throttle, outputting 1,000 watts, 1,045, just over 1,000, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24. 25, speed bump, 26. All right, so this bike will under throttle take you up to, or take me up to uh, 26. I'm on a slight downhill now, it was flat. 27, 28, 29, wow. All right, so this bike goes fast. Technically a class three e-bike should be cutting me off at 20 miles per hour. I really love these ones that allow you to go faster than the uh, class recommendations. I have to admit, I am uh, surprised that this bike is capable of uh, achieving those speeds with the 13 amp hour battery. That controller must be doing it justice. Let's try out the gears. So gear seven, um, I gotta bump down this pedal assist. So let's start out and try out the pedal assist mode. So pedal assist zero. Will the throttle work? Nothing under zero. Put it on one um, and start pedaling here a little bit. A short delay for it to start working. Not a big problem at all. Gives you about a thousand watts, brings you up to 13 miles an hour and holds you at about 13.5 or so on pedal assist one. Try pedal assist two. Instant power. You see it bumping it up to a thousand watts there. And that'll take you up to 19-ish, giving me about 500 watts of power. I'll give it another pedal assist three. Brings you up to 20, uh, three. And one thing I'm noticing, the gear ratios on this bike, like I'm pedaling like a madman right now to keep up with it on top gear seven. So I don't even think I can really use pedal assist five uh, but the good thing is you got that throttle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I'll just do throttle. Yeah, so this thing, it moves. It moves very quickly, really. This is, I'm actually really surprised by how fast this bike goes. Considering it's only like a thousand, not bad. Should we hit the jump? So we'll test out those mechanical disc brakes here in just a few. Uh, you know, it's not the greatest looking bike, honestly. You know, external battery pack, external controller. But you know, the price point, the price point of this bike is hard to beat considering the power. Let's try this jump thing. I'm not actually gonna get any air, I don't think. Well, I don't know, we'll find out. Whoa. <laughs> so I got these uh, tires deflated down to only like eight or nine PSI. They're really low. I'm a little intimidated by this jump. Oh yeah. 
dude, this bike is fun. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Maybe I should have kept those fenders on. It's actually like a little bit drizzly out here in California for the one time ever. Let's try it off road a bit. Don't want to get too dirty. Brand new bike. I mean, it's got one mile on it. Let's try this thing off road. Let's try the suspension out. Dude, this thing is pretty powerful, really. Wasn't really planning on taking this thing over here today, but the seat on this bike is comfortable. That's one of the nice things about it for sure. So what kind of range will you get on this bike? Well, I mean, that's really kind of up to how hard you ride it, how much you weigh and all that. 13 amp hour battery pack, 48 volt. It's at uh, 600 watt hours of energy, so, I would expect for me, the way I ride, you know, 200 pounds, I would say I'd probably get about, I'd say I'd probably get about uh, 25 to 30 miles of range on this. Now, if I'm pedaling, you know, that number is going to go up significantly. Man, this bike just wants to go fast. I like it. Let's do a second hill test here. There's a little hidden hill. I'm going to leave it on pedal assist five for this long hill. I don't know what the grade is on this one, but ooh. let's see. I'll give it some pedal assist, bump it down some gears. Gears work uh, very well. They downshift as expected. So it's getting up this really steep hill. Pedal assist five. I mean, it can do it just under the throttle only. I'll show you what kind of elevation we're getting here in just a few. A drizzly day here in Los Angeles. Leave it to me to open my mouth earlier talking about how it doesn't rain where I live very often. <laughs> wow. So yeah, this this doing this hill, totally fine. A little voltage sag there on the battery as expected. I mean, that just happens. So to give you an idea of what kind of uh, elevation gain we just did there, we started down there on that road on a clear day you could actually see the hollywood sign out there as i mentioned before there is like a lockout for the suspension very basic adjustable suspension there's a few little clicks there uh i mean you know it definitely works to help mellow out the bumps and stuff in the road same zoom suspension we've seen on a lot of budget-friendly e-bikes hello Whew. Have a little curb with the suspension. <laughs> that was my uh, camera rack on the back there, or my uh, tripod. So what kind of lag is there on the pedal assist? Uh, I'll tell you when I start pedaling here and when the motor kicks in, motor's in. So not much of a lag at all, really only about a half second. I've seen much worse. This is, I'd say, one of the better lags, I guess you could say, not much lag at all. So considering the price point of this bike, I really didn't have high expectations for this bike, but it actually does seem like pretty decent for a thousand bucks. Real quick here, let's make sure the speedometer is actually accurate. Uh, this is my GPS in my hand. It does seem to be accurate, 15 miles an hour. It's measuring both. Let's open this thing back up. Wide open throttle. Yeah. Oh, speed bump, speed bump. <laughs> <laughs> so wide open throttle going up a slight incline here after three miles of riding we're hitting 23.4 20 24 miles an hour going uphill a little bit so despite these brakes being mechanical disc brakes and not hydraulic disc brakes i mean they bring the bike to a stop they just they don't have the same good feel and bite of a hydraulic disc brake but i mean you're talking about a pretty budget fat tire e-bike with a strong controller and motor gotta save costs somewhere on that they chose brakes uh, but i mean it can lock up the rear tire so it really just kind of is like a feel thing i guess you could say Old school bikes there, no motor on that one. Got all my trust in these brakes right now going down this hill. Woo! 
All right. <laughs> They're not bedded in. I should probably just make sure I'm actually going to stop here. We'll see how well that rear rack protects me from all this little dirt kicking up here in a few. I do like that this bike is actually very quiet. Some of these hub motors make a decent amount of noise. This one is very like stealthy, quiet. Nobody knows I'm even coming. Yeehaw! I want to go hit this little jump thing one more time now that I'm a little more comfortable on this bike. Oh yeah. <laughs> nice. So, I mean, for a fat tire e-bike, you know, this one, what I say, was like 66 or 68 pounds. Even though the, the website lists it as 72, I weighed it to be a little bit less than that. So I'm not sure what the accurate number is. I trust my scale, honestly. I'm about to get in trouble right through here. They always yell at me. It's the cookie monster. Should I go down the stairs? Let's try it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the fat tire e-bikes can do it all. <laughs> so the rear rack is pretty darn useful. It says it can carry 25 kilograms, which is, what, about 50 pounds? I think it could do more than 50 pounds, honestly. Let's see where the battery is when I get home. We're on mile number five. Let's give it a full break here. Yeah, that back tire definitely locks up. Front tire does not. Thankfully, you don't want that to happen. Give it another brake test here from 20. So cruising at 20 on wet pavement and full brake. I mean, the brakes work. They're mechanical disc brakes. They are not the greatest, but if you didn't know any better, and you never tried hydraulic disc brakes, you'd be happy with these mechanical disc brakes. I've reviewed a lot of e-bikes in my day. And these ones, they just don't bring the bike to a stop as fast as hydraulic disc brakes do. All right, just getting back from this ride. Six miles in, four out of five bars remaining. You know, I think you could probably do about 30 miles the way I ride, you know, 200 pounds and just having fun on this thing. If you pedal, you'll get more range. Range is always, you know, just very dependent on how you ride it. So what are my final thoughts on this bike? Well, for a thousand bucks, you know, you're getting a bicycle, a motor, a battery, a controller, front suspension. None of it is excellent. It's not the prettiest looking bike, but it is a lot of fun to ride. So if you want an e-bike, you want a fat tire e-bike, and you think this one's cool, I don't see why not. If you're looking for a little bit more e-bike, a little bit more expensive e-bike, I do have reviews on a lot of other fat tire e-bikes, so check those out. Watch this video here now.